Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing conditional probabilities. Let's suppose that we roll two die. Let's find two things. Let's first find the probability that one die was a 6, given that the total was 12. So if we call this event over here A and this event over here B, the definition of conditional probability is the probability of A intersect B over the probability of B. And now, if we think about this, the only way for the total to be 12, so the total is 12 if and only if both die are sixes. So if one die was a six and the total is 12, this first condition is redundant. So the top condition is just going to be the probability of B happening because the probability of B, because A is a subset of, because A is a subset, uh, uh, B is a subset of A divided by the probability of B, and those cancel, and we get a probability of 1. And that makes sense, because if we know that the total is equal to 12, that automatically implies that both of the die are equal to 1, so it's a certainty that the probability is equal to 1. Let's see another example. Let's do part 2. Let's find the probability that 1 die is a 6, given that the total is equal to 11. Now, by definition, we can call, let's call these events something different. So we have our first event over here, which is the same as A. And let's call this event over here, event C. So by definition, what we have is this is going to be the probability of A intersect C divided by the probability of C. And now there's only two ways for the total to be 11. So there's two ways, total equals 11, if and only if you had the pairings 5, 6, or 6, 5 with your rolls. So there's two possible ways out of 36 total to get an 11. So what we have over here is the top. So if I have one die being a 6 and the total being 11, well, we know that one die being 6 and a total being 11 are, in some sense, related to each other. So what will happen? If a, we consider the event A intersect C, A intersect C, what we see is that this event over here is going to be this set of events. It's exactly what we're doing, parentheses over here. So A intersect C contains the events. 5, 6, and 6, 5. So again, what happens over here is that A intersect C contains both those events. And in either case, the total is 11, implies that either one of the dice has to be equal to 6. So this is contained in the event A. So the event C is contained in that event. So this probability will be equal to, we can just count it directly. So A intersect C means the total is equal to 11. So that's a total of? 2 over 36. And the denominator is also equal to the probability of C, which is 2 over 36. So this will be equal to 1. Now, if we have a more complex situation, like this one, if I said, what's the probability that a die is equal to 6, given that the total is equal to 10, well, now we have a couple different possibilities over here. So we have the possibility. So the total is 10. Corresponds to the events. You can have a 5 and a 5. You can have a 4 and a 6. Or you can have a 6 and a 4. So there's a total of three events where the total is 10. So 
the probability of a total of 10 and one of the dice is 6 is a total of 2 out of a total of 36. So this probability over here will be 2 out of 36 over the probability of getting a 10, which is a total of 3 out of 36. So we get a total of 2 thirds probability that the one of the die is a 6 given that the total is 10. Thank you very much.